Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. We are back mid facility, right down the side of the mid straight on the main track to do some light off road action. Oh, yeah, folks, it's Beaverworks Diecast Racing in the Igloo Proving Grounds Pebble Path Challenge. Oh, yeah, folks, there we got three match boxes going to go down right out of the pack on the light off road course today. See how they work out coming up on Beaverworks Diecast Racing. Vehicles. Matchbox Lamborghini LM002. First rip and roll today is the Matchbox Rambo Lambo. Look at this thing when Lamborghini got the bright idea of making an off-road back in the late 80s all the way up to 1993. Apparently there's like 300 of these things in the real world. Looks excellent. See how it does. Matchbox 1980 AMC Eagle. 2023 new casting from Matchbox of the Weekend Wilderness Warrior right here. Yes, this was the yuppie wagon when you thought you needed to go camping in the rugged off-road back in the 1980s. Looks bonus. Matchbox Honda N600 Off-Road. Last one today is another new casting out of Matchbox of this wee little off-road Honda. Now, not much available online about this guy, but you know somebody in the world has decked one of these things out to race. Short wheelbases are always interesting, so this should be fun. They are up against a light off-road challenge here at the Igloo Proving Grounds called the Pebble Pass. Look at this thing, folks. This is light aggregate going through a nice log section as you get down towards the end. It is a whole eight feet long, and the rules are one point just to finish, two points for the fastest time, and each vehicle will have two runs. Eh, pretty simple. Right, right, why, why? First one to go today is going to be the Rambo Lambo. We got in-house driver Cindy Sixpack representing Igloo Proving Grounds going down and that. Here she goes. There's that wicked Lambo sound coming through there. Down, off the drop off through the loose stuff. No problem. That thing is just flying. Off-road Lamborghini's making it. Wait, that's it. She's... She wipes out right in front of the stand, right over top of the line, right at the finish. And it is on its lid, still got a time of 10.80. It was a nice light rollover, and that thing looks like it built pretty tough, so it took it. There it is, right there on the line, and it's on its lid. What a great looking run that was. Checking out the Igloo replay, we're going to run these all back in slow motion, just so she can get a look at how that thing bounces around, how cool these new castings are looking. Matchbox is knocking it out of the park with the details on these things and they perform this thing made a great time flying down over top of the logs bouncing on holding on to it she gets down right in front of the booth rides the rail gets sideways and then upside down still makes a full run out of that one with a 10.30 for the first run in the lambo right right two Dialed in Daryl's going to be taking that AMC Eagle down for its first run. Loves this car. Everybody's got some uncle, stepdad, mom, or somebody in their family that probably ran one of these things back in the day. Look at it. That thing sounding excellent. AMC had little parts out of every motor company in America at the time and flies over top of the line with a 13.08. Not bad for a grocery getting wagon, folks. Look at that thing. What an excellent looking woody version of this casting matchbox first crack at the bat making this thing and they did an excellent job looks bonus and it's got great performance coming down off the ramp there and then just bouncing around it's got the four-wheel drive action like you know in real life but we're still seeing it perform going down through the getting through the hill that's through the loose section right there and it's just plowing through listen to that thing giving her all right <laughs> Gets down uh, through the sand, onto the logs, transition is kind of tricky, that's where you can pick up some good speed and get hammered around on the bumps, still holding on to it, keeps its shiny side up and over top of the line at the end, great time, dialed in, Daryl pulling in that AMC Eagle, 10.08 and gets the point. Run by three. Time for this little Honda to take the run. We got Rashadi, our in-house driver, going to be trying this little itty-bitty tiny thing off. Here it goes. He's down and big. It's a good time off that first corner. Handling it good. Gets a little hung up. No. He's flying through the loose stuff. He's bouncing back and forth. Good speed on the logs. Wait, no. He... 
did a perfect somersault right over the line, folks. Gymnastics coming out of Rashad Yar in that Honda, and what a beauty run that was. 12.17. Not exactly fast, but that was definitely entertaining. Look at that. <laughs> That was perfect. Right in front of the stand here, right over top of the line. We're getting all the performance right at the finish line. This is great spot, excellent looking track, and the runs are turning out to be excellent. Getting all the great action right when they come down to the finish, after they can plow through there, showing the slow-mo on this one, is getting through all the loose stuff, bouncing around, took that section like a champ on top of the logs, and just flying through all, all of those, and it wasn't until the very end, caught a big endo right there and flipped it over, got it back on its wheels. Rashad Yar is always known for putting on a show. Gets a 12.17 in the Honda. That gives him the point. Round one gets the Lamborghini 10.80 with the top time, followed up by the Honda with the 12, and then the Eagle at 13.08. There we go, we got a Hot Wheels main line up on the pedestal today. That is that Mad Mike Lamborghini awesome looking thing. Don't forget to support the channel. You can grab the subscribe and the like button. And folks, there's that super thanks. Now we're going to take a minute and say something here about this super thanks option because it's an excellent YouTube function that can help us creators out there. You can select your level right there. Any level you like. Look at that, eh? Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, but if you like something for your money, then we have finally got the Beaverworks store working had to try a couple suppliers but these guys are pretty good so if you want to go out and check out some merch it's available right before Back into the action, we've got Cindy Sixpack going to be taking that Lamborghini down for a second try. Let's see how it does this time. Keeps it on its wheels all the way down, hopefully. There she goes. Down to the first corner, still making great time. Through the loose stuff, didn't even feel it. Over top of the logs, just flying. Big endo right there, held on to it. Over top of the end of the 9.81. That's going to be tough to beat, folks. That was a great time. Of course, it's going to be fast. It's a Lamborghini. Look at that. It's beautiful. They did a great job making that casting down over top of the line just flying right up to the camera there's a great look at that front end eh anyways checking this beauty run out on the slow-mo coming down off the ramp bouncing around gotta get it straightened out negotiating that top corner comes up this little lip here and then to drop off catch some speed goes right down into this sand trap it gets a little deep in there no problem rambo lambo took it over top of the logs still flying Still making it look great. Big lip skid right there and then into the trap at the end. Bonus looking run by that Rambo Lambo. Gets a 9.81 and a point. Right, right, five. Second run for that AMC Eagle. We got dialed in. Daryl going to try that Woody car out again. This is the grocery getter, the wagon, four-wheel drive version of the AMC. And look at it. It's getting hammered already right off the top getting stuck on the lip and was able to pull off. Looked like the four-wheel drive kicked in. Coming down the last end. Takes a big kicker right there. There's another kicker there. He's just beating that thing all the way down and gets down with a 13.41. Epic run, but it looked excellent, and it was hold on all the way. It was just looked like it was getting rough and bounced around all over. Look at that. It's just getting crushed and it made it to the end still no problem that was great let's check out the uh igloo replay slow-mo come down off the ramp and he's bouncing around all over the place up on its side into the other side just getting hammered he ping-pongs his way down through that and gets all framed high-sided on that lip still pulls it off that was that all-wheel drive system just pulling right through it's like they took a car and dropped it onto a uh, 4x4 chassis with a six cylinder and it's getting bounced all over the place. Check that thing out. Awesome job done by that AMC Eagle to get down to the bottom. That's the most family car you can get and it made it with a 13.41 and gets the point. Run right, right, six. Second run for that Honda right here, and it's going to be the final run of the evening, folks. Got Rashadi R inside there getting ready to see what he can do with this clown car this time. That's basically what it is. Hey, look at that. And he's down off the start. Still making some good time. Pulls off that lip down through the deep stuff. Kind of getting a little slowed down. Still makes it through. Bouncing around through the bottom. This time he keeps it. 
up on its wheels and just barely makes it out through the end. He was just choking and bogging out towards the last little bit there. It's like he took too many bumps. Might have beat that little car up there. He's going back and forth from side to side and gets slammed around through the logs and still is able to creep over top of the line just barely. Igloo Replay, check this little guy out. We gotta be proud of this little Honda, folks, because it made it. This is not an easy course to get through. It's not the stone road, mind you, but it is still the Pebble Path. It is the light off-road course, and this guy set this little matchbox up just enough to get it through here, no problem. This is like rally car level style stuff. Down over top of the logs, gets a little beat up there, gets a little kicker there beat up again <laughs> yeah he's getting hit all over the place here he's just putting over top of the line by the time he gets down here and there it is folks the honda the little guy makes it down over top of the line 14 seconds and gets a point not nearly enough to get the win in the second round that's going over to the lamborghini with a 9.81 13.41 for the eagle Final results is going to net six points for the Lamborghini for winning both rounds, two points for the Eagle and the Honda for finishing. And that means it's the Lamborghini. It's going to get the win. Who didn't really expect that? It's the fastest, the LM002, because that's a real imaginative name there. Either way, it did excellent. That's why we nicknamed it the Rambo Lambo. That's because uh, Rambo came out at about the same time. Either way, there's that AMC Eagle. The excellent matchbox. First try with that one, and it's a first casting for this Honda over here as well. Both of them excellent looking castings, but it's the Lambo that gets the show today. It's been around for a little while. It's got some experience there, folks. So that's going to wrap it up for this Pebble Path episode with all the matchboxes on there. All right, keep your eyes peeled because we've got some announcements going to be coming up in the next couple episodes and some audience participation. We hope that you're there for that, folks. All right, great big Beaverworks shout out for all of you coming out here, checking out our stuff from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We will see you next time.